So I'm at Ribex 2010 and I'm here with Kevin Mole. Hello Kevin. Hi Johnny, how are you? <laughs> I'm very well, thank you. Okay. Um, Kevin, uh, you've got something quite interesting beside you here. What, what, what is it? Basically it's a system that we have developed to enable the engine to be restarted on the turn of the ignition key after the boat has capsized and been righted. So if a boat had this engine on the back and it went upside down, it actually capsized and the engines went underwater, you're saying that when it comes back up the right way, the engines can be restarted and they can be run as normal. Wow, so who would that be of, uh, of interest to? Well, I guess it would be of interest to very serious rescue organisations, uh, military type people, right. Uh, anybody would, that would be operating in very rough waters where the boat was likely to be capsized okay. and would either inherently self right or have a self writing capability and then that they would need to continue on with whatever they were doing. Okay. And I've seen the RNLI and people like that with boats that can do this. I've seen that happen before, but this is a bit different, isn't it? It's what? slightly more advanced than the RNLI system in this much that it's a completely dry system. So the engine inside is 100% protected. Um, with the RNLI system, they have a wet system. So yes, the engine can be restarted, um, but then it needs to go back into the workshop to be stripped down. And was that the case with the two-stroke engines as well as the four-stroke? With or? the RNLI system, yes. Right, OK. So this is completely dry. You can turn it upside down and reuse it as, as yes, many times as you... As many times as you like, yes. That's amazing. And uh, you've done this on the, so far you've done it on what, what different engines have on you been on? On the Yamaha at 4 stroke 60. Right. On a Suzuki 4 stroke 115. Right. And a Suzuki 4 stroke 90. Brilliant. 